All right. So what we're looking at here is what I like to call a financial analysis. Uh, this is something uh, that I do for clients. Um, I typically charge uh, about two hundred dollars, and um, I like to go through at least a full year of bank statements uh, to put together these things. So this is a cash flow statement, uh, very similar to uh, what we saw with McDonald's. This is also what $90,000 a year looks like when you're living paycheck to paycheck. Okay. Um, what we have here, the first line is deposits. Okay. Those are deposits uh, going into the bank every month. So it's January, February, March, April, right? Now, what we've done here is we've averaged uh, that amount for the year. It's really important. Okay. You can't make any decisions month to month can't do it as you can see here the number changes every month is a different amount right but on average this is the deposit amount this is the amount that you use to create your budget right the reason why again this is so important is because when you have a month like here in July where you had 9600 coming in you will look at that number and say oh wow well, I made a lot of money so I can spend a lot of money but in reality, you only made seventy four sixty seven. Okay, same thing happens here in March when you only brought in forty six hundred. Again, in reality, you actually brought in seventy four sixty seven. All right, and and this is important as well because what happens a lot of times is that when we look at our bank accounts and we see a small number in there, we get anxious, we have anxiety, we may get depressed and then we make bad financial decisions, right? Uh, it's very easy to make bad decisions when you're not feeling good. And so what we want to make sure of is that we know that even though 4,600 went in in March, actually we have 7,467, all right? And this is also why it's important um, to, to do this analysis uh, for as long as possible. So if you have three years worth of statements, that's great. We'll use three years to get a better uh, accurate estimate of, uh, of what the uh, actual deposits look like. So the next line is withdrawals. All right. And so you see here every month is a different amount. Uh, some months are higher than others. We always try to uh, look at maybe what months uh, are consistently higher than others and try to find out why um, we have those months where uh, expenses are higher and maybe try to do something to uh, to change that but here is the important number here okay on average every month 7379 is coming out of this account alright so what does this mean it means every month you have 7467 going in you have 7379 coming out that is literally a profit of um not doing the math uh, what $90 so every month you're saving $90 okay and so the question is is are you okay with that are you okay with your profit being $90 if not then we can talk about uh what we can do uh to increase that 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 amount uh, the next line is really important. This is your ending balance, okay? Every month. And, and understand that these numbers are found on the first page of your bank statement, okay? So it's very easy to construct. You can do this just paper and pen. Uh, this is actually an Excel uh, output, but uh, this is something that's very easy to do. Uh, in order to average these numbers, it's just adding these numbers up and then dividing by... Uh, 12 is all you're doing. It's very simple stuff. So the ending balance is the amount that's left over in the bank account every month. Okay. And so what's really important here is that we want this balance here to be as close to zero as possible. Why is that? Because this is obviously the operating account. This is the account where all the expenses and all the liabilities come out of. So that means that whatever card is attached to this account has been swiped all over the place. Everyone has his account number and it is very susceptible to fraud and theft. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to have this ending balance as close to zero as possible. That means that you have to have a separate account set up to take this money, 
okay uh, in your operating account you only want to have enough in that account to take care of your monthly liabilities and expenses everything else needs to be in a separate account okay so if someone does get a hold of your account information or if someone does go into your account and steal something they're not getting all your money they're only getting the money that you have in there for your bills all right the other thing um, uh, to uh, to to look at here is again if you average the ending balance okay the average here is 2998 that is the actual amount that you have in your bank account all the time so all day every day all year you have roughly three thousand dollars so again in a month like March when you look at your bank account and you only see six hundred thirty seven dollars in there uh, it, it's very easy to to become you know anxious and, and have anxiety and depressed but keep in mind you actually have three thousand you just can't see it right now okay you just can't see it right now but it is there okay